So let's talk automated trading strategies for 2022. As of this video, the S&P 500, which is generally agreed to be the most common index, is down 6% year to date. Now, the last three years, we've seen positive double digit returns in the market. So this was sort of expected. So what automated trading strategies are going to perform well in this market? I have three that I want to talk about and showcase. So the first strategy that I think is going to perform really well in this market is a gap down momentum strategy. Basically, when an asset gaps down X percent, it generally follows that trend for the rest of the day. One of my best performing strategies year to date is a gap down momentum strategy with NASDAQ futures, where if NASDAQ gaps down more than 1%, it goes short has a profit target, stop loss, and sells at the end of the day. You can see the out of sample real-time performance, it's doing quite well so far. This strategy doesn't trade too often, usually about once a month, and has a average hold time of about four hours. When you're shorting, especially indexes, you have to be very, very careful because you can get squeezed out as you know, as we know, indexes on average go up over time. So generally when you're shorting the indexes, you want a really small time horizons to get quick profits and get out because when they reverse, you can get stopped out pretty, pretty quickly. The strategy has a profit target and stop loss attached to it and sells on market close and it's performing really well so far. So the next strategy that I want to talk about is an intraday mean reversion strategy with a volatility filter. Now I know that's a mouthful, but basically when the price of an asset diverts from the average price or the mean price, generally it returns to that price. Now I think if you pair that with a volatility filter where you forecast some type of volatility and only run the strategy when that forecast says has true or is greater than one, I think this can be a very powerful strategy. This is actually something I'm experimenting right now, but Garch is a common mathematical formula to forecast volatility. Basically, it's a algorithm or formula to predict volatility in financial markets um, using a series, of course, of formulas. And in the screenshot here, you can see TradingView, which we have SPY pulled up, and it has a Garch volatility uh, indicator attached with it. Basically, if it's greater than 0.94, it's predicted that the next day is going to be volatile, right? And maybe this is a filter you use to run a crossover strategy only when you predict that it's going to be volatile. So for example, if SPY is, it has a Garch of say 1.1, you want to run your crossover strategy the next day, you know, where it goes long short with an EMA or SMA crossover, some type of mean reversion strategy. And then if it's less than that 0.94, it just doesn't run. I think this could be very, very powerful in the current market and and could do well on volatile days. And the last strategy that I think is going to perform really well is a swing mean reversion strategy. Now, this is a little bit different to what we just talked about, where it's not intraday, it's a swing. So our time horizons in terms of when how long we're holding the position is going to be a couple days to weeks. Basically, you're going to buy the asset when it's diverted from the average price, maybe you could use a standard deviation, or a moving average, and basically hold that position until it returns to the average price, and maybe attach a stop loss just to be safe. This has been working really well with me uh, for with equity index futures. Um, on the short side, it's a little bit harder. Generally, I don't short these swing mean reversion strategies because on average, the indexes go up. So usually it's only on the buy side. And basically, it's when the price has dipped. Um, this has performed well with me for 2021 as well. So something I, I recommend having as part of uh, one of your portfolios. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to be using one of these strategies in 2022, or if you're going to be using a different set of strategies. I love to hear what you guys are using and thinking of. And if you found value, if you learned something, please hit the like button. That would support me a ton and have a good week guys. We'll see you next week.